Do you know what the worst foods for diabetes are? Welcome to a journey of discovery where we delve into the depths of diet and diabetes. Managing diabetes can be tricky, but being aware of what's on your plate can make a world of difference. A healthy diet is a cornerstone of diabetes management. It's not just about counting carbs or avoiding sugar, it's about understanding how different foods interact with your body and your blood sugar levels. In this video, we're going to lift the veil on the worst foods for diabetes. Foods that might seem harmless, but can cause havoc when it comes to managing this condition. From unhealthy fats to high glycemic index foods, from processed snacks to alcohol, we're going to explore them all. Knowledge is power, and knowing what to avoid can take you a long way in managing diabetes effectively. So, stay tuned to find out more about these foods and how they can affect your health. Let's dive into the list of foods that are not recommended for people with diabetes. First up, we have sugary drinks. These could be your sodas, your fruit juices, or even that deceptively sweet iced tea. What makes these drinks a no-go zone? Well, it's the high sugar content. When you consume a sugary drink, you're essentially flooding your body with a sudden influx of sugar. Now, our bodies are quite the miracle workers, and under normal circumstances, they can handle this. But for those with diabetes, it's a different story. The body struggles to process this sugar overload, leading to high blood sugar levels. And high blood sugar levels over time, as you may well know, can lead to serious health complications. So you might wanna rethink that soda or juice next time you're feeling thirsty. Water, unsweetened tea or coffee could be healthier alternatives. Sugary drinks are just the tip of the iceberg. Let's move on to the next item. Next on our list, we have trans fats and saturated fats. Now you might be wondering, why are these fats particularly harmful for people with diabetes? Well, let's break it down. Trans fats and saturated fats are considered bad fats because they can increase your levels of bad LDL cholesterol while decreasing good HDL cholesterol. This imbalance can lead to heart disease, a common complication for those with diabetes. Now where can you find these unhealthy fats? Trans fats are often hidden in commercially baked goods such as cookies, donuts, and cakes. They're also present in fried foods like french fries and chicken nuggets. As for saturated fats, they're mainly found in animal products. Think red meat, whole milk, cheese, and butter. Some plant-based oils like coconut and palm oil also contain high levels of saturated fats. But here's the deal. Completely eliminating these fats from your diet isn't necessary or even recommended. Your body needs some fat for energy and other functions. The key is balance and moderation. So how do you do that? Try to replace unhealthy fats with healthier alternatives. Opt for lean meats, low-fat dairy products, and plant-based oils. And when you're craving for a sweet treat, go for fruits instead of reaching for that donut. So try to limit your intake of these fats to manage your diabetes better. Moving on, let's talk about foods with a high glycemic index. The glycemic index, or GI as it's commonly known, is a measure that ranks foods based on their effect on our blood sugar levels. Foods with a high GI are rapidly digested and absorbed, leading to a quicker and larger rise in blood sugar levels. Why does this matter? Well, for those with diabetes, a sudden surge in blood sugar can be problematic. It can lead to hyperglycemia, a condition characterized by an excessively high level of sugar in the blood, which can cause a variety of health complications, including damage to the heart, kidneys, and eyes. So, what foods are we talking about here? Typically, foods with a high glycemic index are those that are heavily processed or refined. Think white bread, white rice, and most breakfast cereals. They have been stripped of their natural fiber, which would normally slow down the absorption of sugars into the bloodstream. Sweetened beverages like sodas and fruit juices also rank high on the glycemic index. Despite their refreshing taste, these drinks can cause a rapid rise in blood sugar. Even some fruits like watermelon and pineapples have a high GI, though they are much healthier than processed foods due to their fiber content and other nutrients. Another surprising category is starchy vegetables. Potatoes, for instance, have a high glycemic index. However, preparation methods matter. Boiled potatoes have a higher GI than roasted or baked potatoes. Before you start crossing out all these foods from your grocery list, let me remind you, balance is key. The glycemic index is just one tool to help manage blood sugar levels. Pairing high GI foods with proteins or healthy fats can help slow the absorption of sugars and prevent blood sugar spikes. Remember, not all carbohydrates are bad, but those with a high glycemic index can spike your blood sugar levels. Another category to be careful of is processed foods and snacks. 
Now, we need to talk about something that's become a staple in many of our diets, processed foods and snacks. These are the items you'd typically find in the middle aisles of your grocery store. They're packaged, they're convenient, and unfortunately, they're often loaded with ingredients that aren't so great for our health. Processed foods and snacks are generally high in refined grains and sugars. They lack the fiber that naturally occurs in whole foods, making them fast to digest. This can lead to quick spikes in blood sugar levels, a nightmare scenario for anyone trying to manage diabetes. Take a look at a typical snack food, like a bag of potato chips. It's made from potatoes, right? But once they're peeled, sliced, fried, and salted, they lose most of their nutritional value. The same goes for things like cookies, crackers, and even some types of bread. They might taste good and be easy to grab on the go, but they can wreak havoc on your blood sugar levels. And then there are the sugary drinks. A can of soda, for example, might contain up to 10 teaspoons of sugar. That's almost double the daily recommended intake for an adult. And don't be fooled by the diet or zero sugar labels. These drinks often contain artificial sweeteners, which can still trigger an insulin response. Even some foods that seem healthy can be misleading. Cereals, granola bars, and even some types of yogurt can be loaded with added sugars and refined grains. It's important to read the labels and understand what you're putting into your body. So next time you're at the grocery store, try to stick to the outer aisles where the fresh fruits, vegetables, and lean proteins are. These foods are naturally low in sugar and high in fiber, making them much better choices for managing your blood sugar levels. Just because it's convenient doesn't mean it's good for your health. Last but not least, let's talk about alcohol. Now, a casual drink every now and then may not seem like a big deal. However, for people managing diabetes, it's a different story. You see, alcohol can cause blood sugar levels to either rise or fall, and both are harmful. The immediate effect of alcohol is to reduce the concentration of sugar in the blood, which can lead to hypoglycemia, a dangerous drop in blood sugar levels. On the flip side, excessive alcohol consumption can also lead to hyperglycemia or high blood sugar, especially when mixed with sugary drinks. Moreover, alcohol can interfere with the effectiveness of certain diabetes medications, making it harder to manage the condition. It's also high in calories, which can contribute to weight gain, a risk factor for worsening diabetes. So remember, moderation is key when it comes to alcohol. It's not about total elimination, but about understanding the impact and making informed decisions. Let's recap the worst foods for diabetes we've discussed today. We began by unveiling the list of foods that may wreak havoc on your blood sugar levels. It's not about demonizing certain foods, but about making informed choices for your health. We dived into the world of unhealthy fats, reminding ourselves that while fats are essential for our bodies, not all fats are created equal. Trans fats and saturated fats, often hiding in processed and fast foods, can lead to increased cholesterol levels and heart disease, making them particularly harmful for individuals battling diabetes. Next, we explored high glycemic index foods. Remember, these are foods that can cause rapid spikes in blood glucose levels. Foods like white bread, white rice, and certain fruits and vegetables fall into this category. We also didn't forget about processed foods and snacks. These foods, often high in sugar, salt, and unhealthy fats, can lead to weight gain and disrupt blood sugar control, posing a serious threat to those with diabetes. Lastly, we talked about alcohol. While moderate consumption can be part of a healthy lifestyle, excessive drinking can lead to weight gain and blood sugar fluctuations, making it a risky choice for those with diabetes. Armed with this knowledge, you can make healthier choices and manage your diabetes more effectively. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative videos like this one.